the US now back and re-engaged in this region after what many see was Trump-era isolationism and bilateral deals only? Well, look, I'll say that uh, we're absolutely pleased to see that America is back and showing leadership in the region because it seems that the US, U.S. has been absent on a lot of trade discussions in the region for quite some time. And other countries, such as China, have not have been, and have been actively engaging in deals and setting up frameworks that disadvantage U.S. businesses, leave U.S. companies out in the cold. So we're excited. It's broad membership. It's a framework, but it's a start. It's good to see the U.S. is back. You and I were talking about this earlier. We need to have some visibility on enforceable standards within the Indo-Pacific economic framework. Do you think that we will see that? And are we seeing that? And what does AmCham Japan want to see? Well, I'll start with your last question. We absolutely hope to see enforceable standards because ultimately, as you pointed out, there are three different competing frameworks in the region. So the one that's the most effective is the one that will be the most effective for business. So we do hope to work towards obligations between members and forcible standards because that degree of predictability allows businesses to make decisions. And specifically, your membership wants to see enforceable standards governing the digital economy and trade. Yes, absolutely. So digital economy, economy is a great example that without agreed upon standards uh, for data privacy and protection for how we're going to conduct trade, it's difficult for businesses to make market decisions. So if a group of like-minded nations set up a set of standards, it benefits all businesses.